Fewer kids are playing Pop Warner football these days, and that could do with the safety concerns or the prices. But either way, the decline in participation of youth football is not expected to drop. Cronkite sports reporter Anthony Totri found out how one Pop Warner league is dealing with it. There you go, there you go. Far West Pop Warner in the West Valley said they typically field 15 to 20 teams. This season, they only have enough players for 11 squads. We try to be as safe as we can. I mean, you know, we've been around 90 years for a reason. You know, we're always in the forefront of trying to do things right, especially in this time of day and age. You know, our sport is under is under fire. According to the Sports and Industry Fitness Association, there's been a nearly 5% drop year over year nationwide in the number of kids ages 6 to 17 playing tackle football. Less participants means less money coming in, which makes it difficult to pay for all the necessary aspects of youth football. Fields cost a ton of money. They're very expensive, and if you have them at night, you're paying for not just the fee of the field, but now you're paying for the lights of the field as well. For years, Far West Pop Warner has rented out two full fields here outside State Farm Stadium for both practices and games. However, this is the first season that they will only use these fields for practices, and that's because the rental price is equivalent to registration for roughly 30 to 40 kids. Those youth fields were costing us upwards of 10,000 every year. Aside from fields, the $300 average registration fee per person also goes toward insurance, referees, lights, and a handful of other essentials. Far West Steelers coach and parent Vince Del Ponte believes that Pop Warner's rule book takes the necessary steps toward keeping kids safe. Safety is not an issue, you know, um, and that goes back to the rules with Pop Warner. Because of these rules, we're not going to do some of the stuff that's going to get the other kids injured. Despite youth football leagues making an effort to implement safer rules, the SFIA projects that participation in youth football will continue to decline over the next five years. In Phoenix, Anthony Totry, Cronkite News.